Hello, hello and hello everyone. Welcome, welcome to my inspirational Ingrid channel. How are you all doing? I hope you're all well. I hope you're all doing wonderful. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And please, please comment if you like the content. Now, as you know, I'm always talking about scripture and the words that I have from God on a daily basis. So the word that I have for today is brighter days, brighter days. And that's because scripture upon scripture have just been imputed into me. You know, the Lord keeps saying brighter and brighter days. And I was actually meant to post something like before, and I'm only managing to do it now. Um, so let's have a look a little bit about scripture and what it has to say about brighter days. Now, if we look at first Job, Job chapter 11, verse 17, and it says, your life will be brighter than noonday. Its darkness will be like the morning. Your life will be brighter than the noonday and its darkness will be like the morning. So this one's actually saying in the morning, OK, things may look a little bit dark, but by midday it's bright. It's bright again. Things have actually changed. Things have actually turned around. OK, and as you know, Job's life, it started dark, didn't it? It started very dark. But then later on, as it goes on, everything was bright again. Everything was restored back to him. This was the life of Job. In Proverbs chapter 4, verse 18, it also says, The path of the righteous is like the light of dawn, shining brighter and brighter until midday. So as you can see again, just like Job, Proverbs is actually saying the path of the righteous, the light of dawn is shining brighter and brighter until midday. So that means in the morning, it's darker. And then as you go along, a few hours later, by midday again, it's as bright as ever. And I think that's just so wonderful. Um, I actually did a post today, actually. And the post that I actually did today actually comes from Isaiah chapter 30, verse 26. It actually says, the moon will be as bright as the sun and the sun will be seven times brighter than usual. Light the light of seven days in one. This will all happen when the Lord bandages and heals the wounds he has given his people. Now, like I said, Job and Proverbs actually said in the morning it will be dark, but by midday it will be so, so bright. OK, but in Isaiah, it's actually saying the moon is bright, but the sun will be seven times brighter than it usually is. It will be seven times brighter as if, you know, you've had seven days into one. That's how bright it will be. So, so bright. I mean, recently, all across Europe, they've had this extreme heat wave. It's been extra, extra hot right now. So hot, it's actually a state emergency. I mean, people can't cope. So if you're actually looking in, in Isaiah, it says the moon is bright, but the sun is seven times brighter. So if you can imagine the sun being seven times, isn't it more scorching? Isn't it an actual heat wave if you've got seven times sun, right? As if you had seven days in one sun. So you could imagine, say if today it was like 29 centigrade. Imagine that times seven. You can imagine, right? So I'm thinking, wow, that is extreme heat. But an actual thing is God is actually talking about in the Bible here. He's actually talking about our lives. And how bright they will be. And it's actually talking about people that have actually been broken in Isaiah. People have actually been broken. But if you actually read Isaiah properly, it says here, the Lord will heal the bandages and the wounds that he has given his people. 
So sometimes we think that it's everything that comes to us is from the enemy, it's from Satan, it's from the devil. But imagine this. The bandages and the wounds, God inflicted them himself on his people. God inflicted these very wounds on his people. And you're probably thinking, why would God do that? Why would he inflict wounds on his children? And I think it's actually because if you read the beginning of Isaiah in this chapter, it actually talks about his children have actually turned away from him. His children have actually, you know, been doing other things, looking at idols. You know, they've been become distant, a little bit distant from him. So he was saying, now times are going to change. If you turn back to me and you follow me and you listen to me and you obey me, this is what will happen. In these days, the moon will be as bright as the sun and the sun will be seven times brighter than it was ever been before. Yeah, and this will happen when the Lord has bandaged and healed the wounds that he has given to his people and that's why God is saying to me where the days now are going to be brighter brighter days are coming yeah all the suffering that you've all been through everything that you've you've been through everything that's been inflicted upon you yeah it's going to change now just like how Job went through so much affliction so much persecution so much pain so much suffering but he was restored he was restored again. And God is saying, my people once again will be restored. My children once again, those wounds that they've been afflicted, they will be healed again. And so that means their days once again will no longer be dark anymore. They will be brighter than they've ever been before. I mean, if I think about this morning, this morning it was raining. Yeah, it was raining and it was pretty dark. It was pretty grey it was pretty dull now it's about two three o'clock now in the afternoon but you see by midday by midday the sun was shining and the sun is still shining so that just proves what God actually says you might wake up and things look dark to you but my God when midday comes everything is bright again everything has been restored everything is good that sickness that you had has been healed so isn't that wonderful when God is actually talking to us and telling us not to remain glum not to remain sad because brighter days are coming people brighter days are coming restoration is coming yeah God's healing is coming so you know just have a smile on your face be expectant of what is to come from the Lord because he loves you. He loves you and me. And therefore, let us wait. Yeah, let us be in anticipation of what is to come. These better days, will they come today? Will they come tomorrow? Will they come in the month of July? Whenever they come, just be expectant Pray in advance and thank God in advance for what he's about to do for you. Amen. So this is the end of my session today. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I pray that brighter days will be coming upon you very soon. Until next time, family, stay in perfect peace and stay waiting on the Lord. Bye for now. <laughs> Until next time.